Good morning, my dear students. In our previous video, we have discussed about the process of digestion in humans and different steps of digestion. And in today's module, we will study the digestion process in detail. So let us start. Students, as we read about digestion in previous video, that the breakdown of complex components of food into the simpler substances is called digestion. And the process of digestion starts in the mouth and ends at the anus. It involves many steps. And the main steps of the digestion process are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. And now we will study about these steps in detail. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. The process of taking food into the body is called ingestion and the mouth contains tongue, teeth and salivary glands. The tongue is a fleshy muscular organ attached at the back to the floor of the buccal cavity. It is free at the front and can be moved in all directions. Do you know the function of tongue? We use our tongue for talking. Besides, it mixes saliva with the food during chewing and helps in swallowing food. We also taste food with our tongue. It has taste buds that detect the different tastes of food. And now let's discuss about the different kinds of teeth that are present in our mouth. In humans, teeth grow twice in their lifetime. The first set of teeth grows during infancy and they fall off at the age between 6 to 8 years. These are termed milk teeth. The second set that replaces them are the permanent teeth. The permanent teeth may last throughout life or fall off during old age or due to some dental diseases. We chew the food with the teeth and break it down mechanically into small pieces. Each tooth is rotated in a separate socket in the gums. Our teeth vary in appearance and perform different functions. Accordingly, they are given different names like incisors means cutting teeth, canines means tearing teeth, premolars means chewing and grinding teeth and molars means chewing and grinding teeth. Our mouth has the salivary glands which secrete saliva and saliva makes the chewing food wet and slippery and this makes the swallowing of food easier and the saliva also breaks down the starch into sugar. The swallowed food passes into the food pipes or ossifagus. The food pipe runs along the neck and the chest. Food is pushed down by movement of the wall of the food pipe. Actually, this movement takes place throughout the alimentary canal and pushes the food downwards. The stomach is a thick walled bag. Its shape is like flattened U and it is the widest part of the alimentary Canal. It receives food from the food pipes at one end and opens into the small intestine at the other. The inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus, hydrochloric acid and digestive juice. The mucus protects the lining of the stomach. The acid kills many bacteria that enter along with the food and makes the medium in the stomach acidic and helps the digestive juices to act. The digestive juices break down the protein into simpler substances. The small intestine is highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters long. It receives secretions from the liver and pancreas. Beside its wall also secretes juice. 
the liver is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side it is the largest gland in the body it secretes bile juice that is stored in a sac called the gall bladder the bile plays an important role in the digestion of fats the pancreas is a large green colored gland located just below the stomach the pancreatic juice acts on carbohydrates fats and proteins and changes them into simpler form the partly digested food now reaches the lower part of the small intestine where the intestinal juice completes the digestion of all components of the food the carbohydrates get broken into simple sugars such as glucose fat into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins into amino acids the digested food can now pass into the blood vessels in the wall of the intestine this process is called absorption the inner walls of the small intestine have thousands of finger like outgrowths these are called villi can you guess what the role of villi could be in intestine the villi increase the surface area for absorption of the digested food each villi has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface the surface of villi absorbs the digested food materials the absorbed substances are transported via blood vessels to different organs of the body where they are used to build complex substances such as the protein required by the body this is called assimilation in the cells glucose break down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and energy is released the food that remains undigested unabsorbed enters into the large intestine the large intestine is wider and shorter than the small intestine it is above 1.5 meter in length its function is to absorb water and some salts from the undigested food material the remaining waste passes into the rectum and remains there as a semi solid feces the facial matter is removed through the anus from time to time this is called ejection now let us see what you have learned today question 1 the fat is completely digested in the body option a stomach option b mouth option c small intestine and option d large intestine your correct answer is small intestine question 2 bile is produced in option a pancreas option b gall bladder option c stomach and option d liver your correct answer is liver that is option d question 3 water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in the option a stomach option b food pipe option c small intestine and option d large intestine your correct answer is large intestine question 4 which part of the digestive canal is involved in killing of bacteria option a stomach option b food pipe option c small intestine and option d large intestine your correct answer is option a stomach practice makes perfect students now it's practice time and your questions are question 1 what are villi what is their location and function question 2 why do we get instant energy from glucose question 3 where is the bile produced which component of the food does it help to digest question 4 can we survive only on raw leafy vegetables or grass discuss thank you see you soon in our next video